A strong core is at the heart of health and fitness. Three main benefits of core training. Number one, it improves low back support so you get less injured because low back injuries are so common. Number two, it improves posture. Number three, the, the transference of energy from upper to lower body making activities of daily living manageable are so easy when your core is strong. So let's discover the three best core exercises for you. Exercise number one, the plank. I'm starting off with stacking my elbows directly below the shoulder, which is an important consideration. Moving down the line, I am bracing my core, I'm pulling my tummy in, and I am trying to contract my bladder, which are which is called bracing, which is also an important consideration to do the right core activation in the right plank. Moving down the line further, as you can see, my legs are together. There is no space in between and I'm pretending like I have a pillow in between my legs. So I'm squeezing my inner thighs, I'm squeezing my butt, I'm squeezing my lower and my upper back. Essentially, the entire body is squeezing and that's the right way to do a plank. Exercise number two, bird dog. As you can see, I've got my bracing in place, which means I'm sucking my belly in and I'm trying to contract my bladder. These are the, the, the first considerations whenever you're doing any exercise. The next thing you can see that I'm trying to move my hand and my, my leg, the alternate hand and the alternate leg going up, but keeping my core tight. And I'm doing it really slow and I'm holding it. So I'm not focusing on repetitions. I'm focusing on the quality. I'm holding each rep. That's what matters. As I move along, I change sides. As you can see, what I'm trying to do now is increase balance challenge, trying to make it a little, throwing a little bit more challenge by lifting my foot up. In doing so, the core becomes stronger. But this is your choice. You can progress to this point, but you gotta start off with doing it the right way. So the bird dog, do it the right way, focus on form and not on repetitions. Exercise number three, side to side rotation. This is a good exercise, particularly when it comes to rotation, which is a common practice in everyday living. Now I'm facing up and my knees are bent. Now, as I tilt slightly and I move to the side, as you can see in the video, I'm extending my legs, opening them up and tilting a little. This places a rotational impact on my core but at, as you do this exercise, make sure you are bracing your core, you are pulling your uh, belly in and you're trying to hold your bladder, squeeze it really hard so you can create that tension within. So you are moving from one side to the other. Make sure you're not counting reps, you're focusing on the form and you're holding your breath and you're doing it the right way as shown in the video.